NFTs, non-fungible tokens. What are they? How can we participate in the NFT space, in the NFT game here that's popularizing itself moment by moment, day by day? I'll share with you my thoughts, my experience in participating in the NFT trading, investing, participating game since they started to roll out on the Cardano ecosystem about a year ago. So NFTs have been around in the Ethereum side of things for a while and they have gotten quite the reputation for being the hot topics as of late when i go around and talk about nfts with people they seem to have different views and understanding of what nfts are what you can actually do with them um, protocols and and what they're doing to utilize the functionality of nfts okay and we're going to take a look at the nft space through a cardano ecosystem lens Let's get right into it. When I talk about NFTs to people, the first thing that they seem to talk about are the, the collectibles aspect of it. It's like a, like a baseball card or like a piece of artwork or something like this that has a fixed amount of them that's very rare, that some of them are extremely rare. That is one way that we could look at NFTs. NFTs have more functionalities though. And I'll go through and through this video, try to just describe to you what I mean. Take for instance, um, let's go to Genius Yield here. So Genius Yield is a layer two solution on the Cardano ecosystem. It is trying to be a decentralized exchange that is going to implement an order book style system as opposed to an AMM style that you see on Wing Riders and more common DEXs like MinSwap and then on the Ethereum side, Uniswap, PancakeSwap. Okay, so genius yield here, right? So December 22nd on 2022, I locked up 4,500 GENS tokens in the 12 month vault. I think they had three month, six month, and 12 month. So I locked them up for 12 months, which would have given me a 15% available APR. But because I had this NFT here, this mascot coin, see, NFT, it gives me an additional 3% boost. This is one of the other utility benefits that NFTs offer that I see layer twos like DEXs and money lending platforms, metaverse games begin to implement. Instead of getting 15% on these 4,500 GENS tokens, I'm gonna be getting 18%, so that's pretty amazing. That's another 3% just because I were, was able to capture this NFT. Now there are more than one way where you can get this NFT. If, for instance, you are a part of, let's say, an ISPO, an initial stake pool offering that GENS offers, and you delegate to their stake pool, for the required amount of epics and you keep your delegation stake during that entire time, it can qualify you to get these air, these NFTs airdropped to you where you will have to then perhaps mint on their marketplace. Like for instance, Cornucopius had a minting marketplace that I participated in where you had to have a certain amount of NFTs and then you were able to mint for a small amount of ADA the NFT the land when they did their cornucopius land plot zones one to three i participated in that and was able to mint a small a medium and a large land plot which was awesome and then what you can also do if you're not part of that minting process whether it's through an initial stake pool offering an is an iso or you missed it on the minting marketplace then you can also go to jpg store which is a fantastic store and you can find the actual cornucopius land sale for instance zones one to three and go ahead and purchase them on the secondary market okay so just like a decentralized exchange you will connect your wallet to this application and then that way you can then go ahead and buy and sell nfts in the Cardano ecosystem, so CNFTs, Cardano NFTs, on the marketplace. And so there are lots of collections. Let me see if, let me go to all collections here. Look at all these collections. You have Space Buds, Clay Nation, Pavia, Ape Society, Boss Rock, Cat Rocket Club, okay. Clay Nation is a big one. 
Um, cabins, the Ape Society is a big one. And you know, you have the aqua farmers here. You have the Cornucopia's Bubble Jets, the Earth Nodes from World Mobile. And they all have some different functionality. Okay, the, the Javelins here from Cornucopius. Um, and it is just becoming a robust ecosystem where these NFTs will have some utility other than being rare. So, so if you go into, let's say, let's go into some Clay Nation, these guys here, when you, when you, when you go into, let's find an interesting one. Let's find an interesting guy. They're all pretty interesting. These were all handmade out of clay and they all have unique features and there was 10,000 of them created. So that is a scarce amount, right? There are only 10,000 of these that have ever been created. I think that will, will ever be created. So if you want to play in the Clay Nation metaverse, and this is another one of the more popular metaverses being built. If you haven't heard about Clay Nation, go ahead and check them out. They're partnering with Champ Medici and Snoop Dogg, as well as Good Charlotte, and there are others. So this is a really nice one that I've been participating in since like day one. So I have several of these NFTs and we'll, we'll show you here. Okay, so let's check out, let's try to find a guy with a gold chain. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can find somebody with a gold chain. But you can see all these little different characteristics. When you first glance at it, you're like, oh, okay, like whatever. But they all just look different and they are, but then they all have unique characters and traits. So let's take, for instance, like, this dude here. Okay, so it's a collection of 10,000 digital characters with algorithmically assembled handcrafted clay traits. Each is a one of a kind NFT stored on the Cardano blockchain. Clay Nation is collaborating with industry leaders and in developing an expansive social festival environment, the Clayverse. Okay, so if you look, his body, he's got brown clay. He's got sad, these are the sad eyes. He's got blue eyebrows. He's got the blue eyebrows. He's got the gold tooth. I was trying to find somebody with a gold chain, but he's got the gold tooth. He's got the peace logo shirt, right? Uh, a peach background. The background is important on, the, on these traits. So he's got this eight trait count silver chain, not the gold one, right? And he's got an alien antenna. So for right now, you wanna buy him? He is gonna be 4,500 ADA about 1,538 USD. You can make an offer. If you really want this guy, you can make an offer for like 2,008 or whatever you want. You can buy with other blockchains. Look, see there's, there's interoperability happening. Buy with the credit card. You could look at this guy's trading history. You can look at the listing and the unlisting specific to see if you're getting a good price or not. You can go ahead and explore the collection down below. There is price history, right? It's like, <laughs> And, and, and these are growing, so you will look at the different NFTs and you will, and you will see different evaluations and things, things are constantly changing, okay? So we'll go down. Let's look at another guy. Let's look at another one. See if we can find... See, see, this guy has the brown eyes. He's got the peach background. He's got earbuds in, right? Um, this guy's got headphones. What, what kind of eyes does this person have? So he's got the eye sockets. He's got the eye sockets, tan clay. You got the cayenne background, it says. The shaved eyebrows. He's got the flower necklace, bucket hat, normal mouth, punk jacket. Okay? Let's look. What I love about um, JPG Store. Uh, and they're actually coming out, I think they're coming out with their own coin here soon to be trading with some utility. So go to high to low. I go, low, go high to low. Look at these dudes. A million bucks. So what does this guy have to offer <laughs> for 1 million ADA? So for 342,000 USD, you could buy this dude right here. He's got the blue clay. That's kind of like unique. He's got the trippy eyes, which is which are these eyes. He's got the normal eyebrows. He's got a rose in his mouth. He's a superhero, his clothes are. He's got the top hat. He's got a frog accessory chilling on his shoulder. Seafoam green background. Okay, so he's a little tripped out. Okay, she's got the exposed brain over here. That's the ha exposed brains and long hair. Peace logo shirt, bow tie, normal eyebrows. She's got the stoned eyes because, you know, they're partnering with Snoop Dogg. 
this this is like got the lazy eyes and you'll see that like we just showed the, the other one we showed it also has a piece sweatshirt right so there's going to be ones that have the same kind of thing uh, going on maybe 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 top hats this guy's got the cardano t-shirt when you look at what's going on here they have 34 million dollars in ada being traded okay and so what i'm trying to say is there's a lot of opportunity to kind of get into something that's got a lot of community behind it so do your research like i have from the very beginning i joined the clay discord you can go on their website and that's that's the best way to get on someone's discord is you go to their actual website scroll to the bottom or wherever on their website hit the little discord icon and you're on their website right or you're on their discord from their website so you can trust that that link is there you'll go through the verification process and voila you're in the community and you can get any questions answered, right? So I have a few, I'll show you. I have a profile here and this aggregates all of my NFTs. Before we get into what I got, I'll show you. CNFT is a fantastic website, project, protocol, community. Get on their Discord. If you are participating in a lot of these projects look I'm, I'm a part of 21 of these projects a lot of them will have you go through cnft tool as a verification for the nfts so you get on their discord you go through this verification process again it's step by step it's not that hard i am not a technical person at all i am not a developer or anything i, I can barely do these videos and I just go through the process. If you have any questions, you can ask people. There are videos out there that explain this stuff to you easily. So don't fret, it's real easy to do this. So CNFT tool, what they do is you, I have 21 projects here and they're on many different wallets and it aggregates all of that wallet info here, okay? And I can, um, it used to have, see it's, it's constantly changing where they're up the, they're updating the wallets like kind of in real time. So I'm never really having to update my wallets anymore. And it shows you my clay nation pitches, the good Charlotte, liquid aqua farmers. I got claymates. I got some bubble jets. I got OG bubble jets, javelins. Okay. We got clay, clay buds, genius sealed stuff and some others. All right. So CNFT tools is a great resource for you and a great community to be a part of. They launched their first event last year, 2021. I think it was September-ish. They're gonna have another one here, September 20, 2022, excuse me. Now they're gonna do their 2023 event here coming up soon. And I'm thinking about trying to get down there and so should you. So it, it just tells me that I have a wallet value of 35, 37K. Okay, a trade value 41K, 115 NFTs, 21 projects. Keep in mind this number fluctuates throughout the bear market, right? This is the lowest of the low that I've ever seen it. I have, I have gotten these NFTs, most of them, almost a year ago when they first started to come out. I'll perhaps update you on how this volume will fluctuate through the, the ebbs and flows of the bull in the bear market. I think this was up to like 80k you know i mean i've lost like maybe 50 percent of the value over the of of the of the value over the bear market retracement okay but don't let that get you right like we're in this for the long haul we believe in these projects i'm going to support cornucopias clay nation and and take advantage of some of these utilities on the dexes and the platforms that i am looking to participate in okay so you could do the same this is what this video is for to make you aware that there is something for you to take advantage of i can upload an image here that i want i should get to that i haven't done that and so here am i so so i have 101 nfts that it that it looks at and that number is a little different than what you see on CNFT, where it says 115 for many different reasons. One is that I have some for sale here. So once you have it for once you have them for sale, they 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 come off your tracking because they're kind of on the market, right? So here are my NFTs that aren't for sale. I got copious plots. I got a few copious plots. I have an epic cornucopius. I got a few epics. Okay. I got a few larges, I got a couple mediums, some smalls, I got a couple land plots, all right? Cornucopius is a, is a metaverse that I have been participating 
in since the beginning, watching every single solitary Kopi Cafe, and you should check out the Kopi Cafe on YouTube, where the where the founders go through the updates on a weekly basis. Again, join their Discord. I would suggest that you join their Discord. In fact, let me try to show you uh, Discord here real quick. So here I am on my Discord, right? So here's Cornucopius, right? This is the Cornucopius Discord, right? CNFT tools right here. Okay, they have um, CNFT services, right? So CNFT tools is, is right up here where you could go through um, adding a wallet that, that, that will be verified your nfts so you could check out like jen's token i just showed you them that i'm staking there cornucopius we got we got claymates down here discord is where it's at right it's where it's at and you're going to want to start participating in discord if you're in, in invested in these projects that that would be my recommendation because not only is it a resource where you're going to get the up-to-date information as far as as fast as the team puts it out whether it's a medium article or an update or, or a participation event or a minting event, you're gonna get it in real time. And the second power of being on Discord is that you're going to be able to ask a question that you might have. And that is just second to none. It's very, very powerful to ask these questions. Okay, so that's, that's basically Discord. In a nutshell, real quick, again, maybe I'll go through a super Discord thing, but for you, you're going to want to get on the Discord. All right, and here we go. So I have some javelins, some GTI javelins. I have some pitches, all right, on on clay. We have, we have the Sonic Village. We got the, the Underworld, the Baked Nation. And they are different kinds. They're small, medium, and like this one here is going to be um, ba bum bum bum. It's a large, it's the large size, right? It's a plot. This is my nation pitch here. It's my plot. Maybe, hopefully, one of these will be next to like where Snoop Dogg lives, and the value might skyrocket because of that. So you never know, right? You, you never know what, what you're doing, what, what you got going on until you get into it, right? So get into it slow. I started off just looking at these NFTs. So I have here, here I got this guy here. He's got the Ada eyes. He's got blue eye prowls, bow tie, normal mouth, t-shirt, Santa hat, all right? Background Santa, right? It just gets me in the game. It just gets me in the game. Okay, it's not like I picked this guy for any crazy particular reason. I think I wanted to have some with like Ada eyes or, or different colored eyes. That's kind of what you do. You, you, you're, there's no financial advice in this video. The, who knows what the outcome will be as far as the value growth of these NFTs. And what I do is I just keep track of what the community is doing. We're right? going keep track of what they have going on. Uh, she's got the joint in the mouth, the blue eyebrows, flower necklace, okay, normal eyes, turquoise, right? So she's got a few separate things. She's got the robot outfit, the joint in the mouth. See, certain traits could get you into certain things, I feel like, in the game. But look, um, I, I don't know much about that. I am just personally taking a little bit of an interest in, in a position in Clay Nation, not only in their not only in their NFTs, but in their actual token, because I believe that this ecosystem is doing some pretty pretty interesting things, and they're crossing bridges, and I like those things. And for those reasons, I am um, into some Clay Nation, as you can see. Okay, we got this guy over here. I think this is the first dude I got. He's got the mushroom earrings, wizard mouth, right, He's, which is the beard. It's like the beard thing. He's got the mushroom earrings, right? It's just what he's got. He's got the blue eyebrows, stoned eyes with the blue. So here we go. We got this. He's like a wizard, right? And so on and so forth. Here I have aqua farmers because I'm participating with liquid finance. These are the genius. There's some more genius yield NFTs. 
that I might use for some in some other way. This is my Indigo LBE functional NFT that I used with the MinSwap launch bowl. I used this for a really long time. It got me some great yields participating in that. Recently, I just released my position there and I might put this NFT on the marketplace and sell, or I'm thinking about re-entering with the NFT. Okay, I got some aqua farmers, and again, they have separate traits, like, like the guy's holding this thing, he's got the rake. Let's check out some aqua farmer NFTs. Yes, this, is a, this is a rare, all right, straw hat, a leaf rake, grass fields, garden hose, skeleton head, windmill and house. All these little things in this NFT are going to be unique, and the rarer that they get, okay the more expensive they are all right so we're not going to go through every single solitary one of these nfts i have another one of these wizard dudes these are the good charlotte guys i got this one here clay nation and good charlotte he's got the pointy teeth basketball shirt black hoodie bloody bloody eyebrows uh, mutant parrot right eyeballs out of the sockets just thinking this guy might be a little unique. Who knows? All right. So I'm holding on to these. I'm holding on to them for a while. I have some claymates. I invested in some claymates. Here's my Gold Rider NFT. I got some. Is my I got I got a couple bronzes just because I thought maybe that might be you know of some value at some point too for someone else or maybe to sell them or um, you know a giveaway of some kind. And I have some OG bubble jets, some more clay buds, bio tokens. Okay, I have some other regular bubble jets. So the, the OG bubble jets up here have this little swirl around them. Um, and then the, the regular bubble jet sprinters just are plain without that halo. All right, and there are my NFTs. Okay, here are my NFTs. Uh, so far, so I have I have 11 offers. So actually, we'll just give you the activity, and then the counter offer was sent for 9,999 ADA. So think about that, 9,000 ADA. If ADA would go to 50 cents, so so it's at about 33, 34, 35 cents. It pops up to 50 cents here in the next month or two. I mean, that's like you know what, almost five grand for this Gold Rider NFT. So this person is really looking to stake that into the system and take advantage of those boost rewards. All right, so here are the ones I have for sale. I price these kind of high. This uh, clay bud here, what I like about him is he is, he's only one out of seven claymate space buds. He's a dino astronaut. He's got the special background, which is like pretty unique. And I put there 57, I don't know, I, because I don't really want to get rid of them. So I just put a, a larger price. Right, he's been listed for a while. Who knows, somebody might somebody might snag some of these up. I price these kind of high because I don't necessarily want to get rid of them. And and there, there you have it. I um, got some of these Satoshi Nakamoto ones. Not Claymoto, Satoshi not Claymoto. I have a Sprinter OG up on the mix. Okay, a, a Copious Lamp Plot Rare. And so Sprinter, I got two of these. What I'm trying to do here is I got one posted for 95, and then I thought, why well, two of them, I'll post another one for a little bit less to see if I can kind of incentivize somebody to buy. So if I go, if I go over to Copi, uh, Cornucopius, and we go to land sale, so I usually type in like bub like that, they're gonna go to the OG bubble jets. We'll come over here and go high to low, and you're gonna see my bubble jets are right here listed. These are my two, 95 and 93. So these are the legendary bubble jets. And you can see there's not gonna be many of these listed. See right after this, um, this is the last one that's listed. And all of these have been sold or unlisted or what have you. So all these down here that don't have a price next to them have been sold or delisted. And so there's only like a few, maybe what, 25, maybe not even 30. One, two, three, four. I think that are six in, in there's six that go on. So these are all common. See the CM, 
This is a common bubble jet. This is uncommon, you see. Okay, they're blue. See the green ones are common. The blue ones are uncommon, so they're gonna be a little bit more expensive. And then you're gonna get into rare, these RAs, rares. They're more expensive, right? And then you're gonna have these legendaries, okay? And then mythics, mythics. See, there's no mythics on here right now, but there's a couple legendaries. I have two of them here listed. And then the, the next highest legendary is 12,000. So if you're in the market for some bubble jets, this is where you can come and uh, check out. They've got, they got a pretty hefty volume. A lot of people are setting up to get their bubble jets because Cornucopius is about to put out their MVP, which is their minimum viable product. And what that is, is gonna be a racing game from what I hear. And that will be pretty interesting. That is the bubble jets. Activity here, I just listed, I listed that this um, land plot rare about 19 hours before the video. Um, and, and I listed for 9,300 ADA 20 hours ago, an OG custom legendary. And I actually had a, a custom bubble jet mythic. And I just sold this 20 hours ago for 30K, okay, I accepted an offer. I had it listed at uh, like 40K and we, we, did some, we did some offers and I released that for 30K. I mean, and so there's a lot of activity that, that went on here where I'm listing and I'm unlisting. So I had a lot of those uh, Clay Nation dudes that I listed, but and, and I have some javelins, right, that I had listed and unlisted because I'm just starting to get into this game and I'm just starting to understand the power of, of NFTs and how you can partake and participate. And it just so happens that 21 hours ago here, I had my first sale and it's a massive, it's a massive participation event for me that um, went down. So. It does happen. I've gotten more offers. Here's here's my collection offers that um, you know I can get. They're sort of low, so I don't really pay attention to them. My view is that this might increase over time. That would be a wonderful time then. So I'm not I'm not looking to get rid of these NFTs. Some of them, some of them I will, but most of them I'm holding for the long haul to see what the utilities will play out, how they'll play out, and how I can take more advantage of them in the future. All right, so this is just an overall NFT guide to how you can begin to look at participating within blockchain, within the Cardano ecosystem, outside of providing liquidity, outside of just trading and traditional holding or delegating or staking. We're talking about getting into the NFT space early looking, educating ourselves, and seeing if there could be some potential growth scenarios for us in the process, okay? So we have CNFT Tools, which is a fantastic resource. JPEG Store is gonna be your resource to explore the collections and the NFTs and wrap your mind around some of these projects. When you click on these, like Ape Society, for instance, you're gonna check out their policy ID and what you can do is get right into their Discord, right? You can click their Discord, their Twitter, their websites, and search them out. I would never recommend that you just, just got directly into buying some sort of project right off the bat just because you, you think or you knee-jerk your way into it, okay? So there are so many projects. A lot of them are rug pulls, which are pro projects just trying to catch and grab your money. So if you look at my NFTs, again, I'm only in a few projects. I'm in Cornucopius, right? So this is all Cornucopius, all the Javelins. This is still within the Cornucopius. Then I'm in Clay Nation. I have Clay Nation. I am got the Genius Yield. I got Liquid Finance, MinSwap. These are, these are DEXs and money lending protocols that I'm participating in. Okay, and here we're back to Clay Nation, back to Cornucopius, Wing Riders. Okay, Clay Nation, 
cornucopias, biotoken. It's a, it's a uh, something that I collect on drip drops, and that's it, right? So out of all these NFTs, I'm it's only a certain amount of projects, and because I'm because it says 21 projects here is because I collect NFTs here and there off of drip drops, which I just did a big video on the uh, yesterday, the other day, my last video. So you could check out drip drops where they have all kinds of drop assets that you could pick up from projects that are just starting out that you could help support and become aware of also. So there's tremendous utility, there's tremendous resource, there's lots of availability to get into um, an ecosystem that's fun. The people are fun, the people you meet are great and lots of them have lots to say. They offer a tremendous amount of help and feedback for you when you might have questions in certain in certain areas and i've had to utilize that resource a ton in my time here participating in the cardano ecosystem okay so that's the nft game um i hope you got some value from it i think you should check into it i'm not somebody who is a real nft type of a person like i'm not a big gamer um, I, I look at it for all the purposes that they're valuable for, not just the collectible side. So you can, again, you can take advantage of these NFTs and interoperate them with a, a decentralized exchange you might be providing liquidity for, or what have you, or a money lending protocol like Liquid Finance. I'm excited when that comes out, when you're able to also stake your, your liquid farmers to get more yield for the meld platform, which I'm investor in also. They have their bank manager NFTs that are that have come out that you will be able to stake them into the protocol to get more rewards as, as well as your traditional APRs for participating in their decks, getting into their smart vault contracts. And there's a lot of utility, okay? so. It's, it's a bit different than just locking and getting an APR where you can now get more APR, more reward for the same amount of participation. So it might make sense to you and it might not, but check it out because it can't really hurt you to just educate yourself. That's what has been so valuable for me is simply educating myself. I get on, I watch the, the founders, I watch the team, Personally, I want to hear them. I want to see them. I don't want to listen to someone's FUD or FOMO. I want to listen to the team directly and see what they have to say to make my own decisions. And so that's why I watch all the Kopi cafes. I watch the Charles Hoskinson AMAs. I watch the videos from IOHK. They just put out a new video on peer-to-peer -peer network, which was awesome by Duncan. So check them out, okay? Don't just blindly gamble yourself into this casino of cryptocurrencies, so to speak, right? That's how I think people treat most of this. They treat it like a casino and they're just gambling their money on something, thinking they're going to make money, like get rich. And you're going to lose it all, most likely, if you're, if you're playing that game. But if you take your time and educate yourself and look at these projects and look at their team and look at the tokenomics and take your time giving yourself some education, you will see that it could give tremendous rewards your way, even in the form of knowledge. Okay, so knowledge is the precursor towards maybe net worth growth. Now, people get lucky all the time, and I don't take anything away from that, but luck follows the hard worker also. So the harder you work, the harder you invest your time and, and, and educate yourself, the luckier you're going to find yourself. Okay, so I hope you got some value and we'll see you soon on the next video.